Hey Cedarville leaders, Jamie Shank here with your weekend update. First of all, I just want to say, hey guys, I'm so, so, so excited about you. Um, I have been um, traveling for about the last week. Um, I went to Catalyst Conference, I went to Orange Conference, and I just have to say, I have been so mindful of, of you guys, of what we're a part of, and I have a lot of information, a lot of passion, and I cannot wait um, to just begin talking about it and diving into it and, and bringing it to life. Um, this weekend's bright idea is I Live to Give. We're gonna be talking about the story of the widow's might and how she gave just the last bit that she had. Um, I really wanna encourage you guys to read the story Story, become familiar with it and you know I would even say I would highly encourage you guys to study it go through your your study Bibles and look at the cross the cross references or the things that they're talking about underneath it and um, really just become familiar familiar with it so that way we come in mentally prepared and ready and we know exactly what we're talking about um, that is found in Luke chapter 12 41 through 44. Uh, the memory verse for this week is still the same that it has been. It's Jeremiah 29, 13. The motions look like this. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all of your heart. Um, that's the one that the kiddos are going to come in knowing. Um, this weekend it kicks off the new series, Trick or Treat, and I can't be more excited for this three-week series just to see what we're going to talk about um, and just grab some truth from that. So the games for this weekend are the same in preschool and elementary, the first time we've ever done that, and I'm super excited. It is called the question toss. So in preschool and elementary, we're all going to have a beach ball, and what we're going to do is you're going to have some questions. Um, for example, so for example, if I am the leader, I have the ball, the question is, what's your favorite color? I'm gonna answer, my favorite color is blue, and then lightly, toss the ball to somebody else. When they catch it, they answer the same question until everyone in the group has the same has answered the same question. Then we move on to the next question, to the next question, and so on. We have five minutes to do that. Um, it is it is just a connection piece, so that way the kids and the leaders can get to know each other. As we make those connections, that is our, that is our main focus for that. We want to make connections with these kids and we want to know them and we want them to know us. When we build that trust with them, that's when we gain influence on their lives. And like I said last week in Huddle, we're impacting lives of kids. And how exciting is that? Um, a couple things just to put on your radar. We have a really, really exciting weekend around here. So in addition to our services um, on Sunday night at 6 o'clock, we have Sunday night at the creek. Um, I highly encourage you guys to come, and I'm going to put it out there. I would love for our team to sit together at this event. The, the whole focus is Unite, and I think it'd be really cool if the whole Cedarville team, all five teams, sat together inside of this worship experience Experience and baptisms. I mean, let's really unite. So I really want to encourage you guys sit together as much as you can. I think it'd be really, really cool. Um, and I'll, I'll be talking to you guys about that this weekend inside of Huddle. Um, if you, if you or somebody that you know um, wants to get baptized, the class starts at five o'clock, um, and we go through some questions very similar to the questions that we asked the kids. And that leads me to, if you know of any kid that wants to get baptized, we want to give them a next steps book. And also before we give them the green light to get baptized, they have to have a conversation with, um, with a staff member. And there's three questions that we work through just to make sure that they really understand what they're about to do. Um, just so you guys know, we are going to have fleets donuts. And how exciting is that? I know that down here in Finley, we don't really know a whole lot about fleets donuts, but I was was able to go to the Fleet's Pumpkin Farm and guys it's the cutest little place and they make their own donuts so they're quite the reputation we're gonna have those and then um, I already mentioned about sitting together as a team I think it'd be a really cool experience just to be able to do that and sit together as a team for the first time at a Sunday night at the creek um, this weekend is the drive and I believe it wraps it up so it was about a month ish um, so be looking for that and then this Saturday night at seven at the seven o'clock service kicks off our short-term group ridiculous faith um, you know if you're interested in doing that you can sign up online and then Monday night at seven o'clock so it's Monday the 17th at seven kicks off financial peace University um, I have taken this class before and I can't tell you how influential it was for my family to think about gaining financial freedom and have you know just stewardship and really take take handle of our money. Um, if you have not done that, it is worth 
all the time and all the resources that that it takes to um, to do that. So if you have not done it, um, I highly encourage you. Let's do it. Let's do it together. Um, I'm still talking with my husband about us doing it again because it was that good. And I'm not just saying that. So if you have any questions or thinking about it, please come and see me. I would love to talk to you about that. And then my encouragement for this week, um, guys, every small thing matters. Whether it's noticing a preschooler's shoes or, you know, playing with Legos or, hey, buddy, I've been thinking about you this week. Um, hey, how was your football game? Or, you know, a simple just pat on the back. You're great. You're doing great. I don't want you guys to think that any interaction with these kiddos that we get, whether it's just playing with them or having a conversation with them, every small moment matters. We're gonna get to know these kids, they're gonna get to know us, they're gonna get to trust us and learn that we are a safe place where we can talk about the things that they don't understand or the things going on inside of school. We're a safe place, we're safe people, and every little moment is gonna give us that much trust, that much more influence. We're gonna get to know the parents and partner with them. So I just wanna encourage you guys, every small moment matters. They all add up, and then that's how we change a generation. So guys, I'm so stinking excited to be with you this weekend. Um, I have a really exciting announcement for Huddle and you're not gonna wanna miss it. So come 30 minutes before our service and you're gonna, I'm not kidding, you guys are gonna wanna hear this announcement. So guys, I am thinking about us, I am dreaming about us and just know that you guys are on my mind all of the time. I will see you guys this weekend.